Well, welcome back. It is March, the most exciting time of year for college basketball fans. This year, fans here have a reason to be extra excited, y'all. USF Bulls won its conference, so they will begin its conference tournament on Friday with hopes of playing in that NCAA tournament, right? It's been a historic season, which was led by this man right here, Coach Amir. I mean, Thank you for one, joining us live in studio, but let's talk about this season. Historic, ranked 24th, 15 game win streak, conference champions. What was the key to success? To God be the glory, <laughs> <laughs> to God be the glory, you know, and it was a, it was a group of young men that made a, a, a <clears throat> conscious decision to put their individual goals aside for the greater good of the team. And they did, yeah. you know, uh, it, it's, it's a weird thing because you go through this regular season, all right, you play 18 regular season conference games. Right. And we were 16 and two. But the automatic bid goes to whoever wins the conference tournament. Now, we still have everything we want in front of us. Yeah. But, like, I, I personally think the bid should go to the regular season champion because it's, harder, it's harder to be consistent for two months yeah. than it is for three days, you know, right. but this group of this group of guys, man, they're phenomenal. They love each other. They care about each other. They tell each other the truth mm. and they give great edge. There we go. Right? Edge is the mantra <laughs> in our program. Everyone dedicating great effort. And the, and the guys at Forda Bay Clothing Company, they gave me this really cool hat. So oh. um, it's been a great year and we look forward to continuing it. Listen, let me tell you, as a USF Bull, as a I former student athlete at it. USF, I have seen what it looked like at a USF basketball game and everybody was looking at each other just like this. Right. You had three sold out games at the end of the season. Yes. What did it mean to you and to the team to see that kind of support? It, it meant everything to us because when, when I got here last late last March, early mm -hmm. April, the one thing that I talked about, I wanted we wanted to the Yingling Center. We wanted it to be the best home court environment in the country, not that. just our conference right. in the country. And we had to build towards that. Well, how do you do that? You got to get out in the community. Like we had to go out in the community. We had to go out on campus. We had to interact with the students because it's a weird thing. Like for some, t for, for some reason, people want athletics, to, like some coaches want athletics to be separate from campus. Mm -hmm. No, no, we want to be part of campus. We got yeah. a great campus, a great president, great support, great faculty, great staff, and a great student body. Yeah. And we want, them to, we want to be part of that and we want them to be part of us. And we were able to create that. Yeah. I think what our community has seen is an incredible leader in mm. you. Can you tell me what representation means to you and how that's reflected in your role as head coach? It, you know, representation means the world to me. And I, let me take it a step further. It's not just about me. Um, mm. We, I, I coach, I coach, but as I told you off air, I'm a, I look at myself as a, a developer of men, right? Yeah. And I think one of the best things we've been able to do, we were able to hire Joy Williams on our staff as the chief of staff, you talk about representation. And Coach Joy, she's been a successful head coach at Murray State, at that other school up I-4, we won't say that name. We won't. Right? But, um, <laughs> but she's been a successful head coach. But I wanted our young men to see a woman in a, in a, in a male environment right. and know that she can hold her own, she's smart, she's tough, she's tenacious, and probably the best coach on our staff, being honest. Right. I learned a ton from her. So representation matters, and for me, I want our, our, our young men, our student athletes, to see what a good example of a, a man looks like every day, what a good husband looks like, what a good father looks like, and what a good leader looks like. And I, and I hope, I pray I'm doing a good job in that area. You are doing a fantastic job. I've talked to a couple of your players, and they truly admire you. Thank We're you. running out of time here, but i got to ask you. Yes. I know I, I asked you how you were doing. Mm -hmm. We ended the season with the loss, but it doesn't matter, right? So right. talk about what we're looking at ahead. We have the AAC yes. tournament coming up, and then yes. what does March Madness or the potential of that look well, like? Well, we have to go take care of business, right? Yeah. Like we like we're, we go into it as the number one seed. We've earned that right. Mm -hmm. We'll play the winner of East Carolina and Tulsa on Friday. Okay. Um, two teams that we beat already, and then we, uh, we lost our last game to Tulsa. But you know, it's not what happens. It's, it's how we respond. That's mm -hmm. what we talk about as, a pro, as, as coaches every day with our guys. So we get an opportunity to respond. We, we've had a ton of success, right? 15 game win streak. Yeah. Well, now we get an opportunity to show everybody what USF is really about, mm. what this Bulls program is really about, what this community, this Tampa Bay community is really about. And we plan on responding the right way.
It's tournament season, baby. We are going to take Let's off. Go. I am so happy. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. I've, we have been supporting you this whole season. Thank you. So congratulations, first and foremost. All Thank right. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Coach Amir, hey, the Bulls begin the American Athletic Conference Tournament this Friday. Again, they will play at 1 p.m. in Fort Worth, Texas, and it will air on ESPN2. Lee, we're wishing them all the best. Go Bulls. Man, 